So I woke up this morning, checked my email, and I had been gifted by an anonymous person this Pixel Tarot deck. And I just wanna say thank you to whoever that was. This is a really cool little add-on here, and I just wanted to show it to you folks real quick so you could get a feel for it. So for those of you who aren't familiar with a tarot deck, they're a set of cards that are used to divine the future. And I have actually several decks in my desk here that I use in in in-person games or when I get stuck, when I'm trying to brainstorm ideas for my campaign, I'll actually use tarot cards to kind of divine out what would be uh, exciting to to come in the future. So I've never had one in game before. And so this is really cool. This opens up some possibilities in terms of, you know, my players can meet fortune tellers and have a a divination done for them. So that's really pretty cool. The add-on itself, I'll include a link to it down in the description of the video, includes this starry background map. And this is your mat to actually perform the divinations on. So the card spaces here, you just deal the cards out and lay them down. There's a brief primer on how to actually deliver a tarot reading so that you can perform one of these for your players. There's a table of meanings of the cards, both in their upright and reversed form. So sometimes things are good when they're upright. Sometimes they're bad when they're upright. It depends on on the card. And then the cards themselves, if we take a look at this, you get... All of the cards for both the Major and Minor Arcana, and you get them both in their upright and reversed form. So you have all those available to you, which is really cool. And then it also offers a suggestion for using the tarot deck as a magic item. So basically you draw a card from the tarot, and then that card acts as a spell scroll. So like, for example, here, if you draw the Fool, you now effectively have a spell scroll of Hideous Laughter, cast at level one and you can use this as if it were on your spell class list and then once you draw another card from the deck that initial card loses its magic so if you decide you don't want to cast hideous laughter you want to draw another card and then you draw say the emperor well now you can cast heroism at level one and the fool card has lost its magic so it's a really cool little add-on here and i'm looking forward to including it in my games again whoever gave this to me thank you very much i really appreciate it i also want to give a thank you to all my subscribers and a big thank you to all my patrons i really appreciate all of your support it, it really does mean a lot to me anyway real quick video for today just want to say thank you all again and enjoy the rest of your day